Idea. This ought to do it. Ice cold. Now, you got a time for some punishment. Easy shot. One down. Good work. Here I come. It's all you. See that? How about that, then? That's it, Millie. On it, Ringo. Nice. Let me see. Eat this. I can win this. Almost fell asleep. Let's negotiate. Give it a try. Eat this! Oh, no match for me. Look at all right. Let's see some. This might be a shock. There we go. I was just getting started. Hmm. Huh? You 
Kin. Now we can relax. Enemy! Incoming! Like it'll work. Good idea. Go for the weak spot. On it, Kaizo. Too easy. You shall we? In my sights. Got a kid. Nice. Here I come. It's all you. That's it, Melody. On it, Ringo. You're wide open. Yes, you are. Let's go. Let's see some action. Okay, Saizo. Too late for regrets now. Charge! They just had to get in the way. Way. I'll kill you. <laughs> I hate chit chat. Hmm. <sighs> Look out! <laughs> Look out! Careful! <sighs> True. 
Okay, whatever. You like that? Take the All right. Take this. Take it out fast. This. See that? Go for it, Ringo. We can profit okay. here. Don't let it run. Eat this. Here, here I come. Hot. Good night. That was a joke. That'll work. Let's give it a try. Here goes. How's that? What's our yeah, opener? Good plan. Hope this works. Can you handle this? We gotta okay. win this. Hey, no matter. Wanna make a bet, Sizo? Gonna go with that, Sizo? This is no static charge, Sizo. Easy. You like that? It's all you. Best to go with that, maybe. Okay, whatever. Bang. Too late for regrets now. Together, we got this. A little gannet's one way to go about it. Here goes. It didn't work. No, here I come. That's the ticket. That works. Here's some punishment. Did that hurt? Ready to go. All right. Gotta try. Do it, Saito. Don't gotta tell me twice. I say nothing. You know what to do. This power. I won't stop you, bud. Here goes! How's that? Out of my way. Power! 
impress me. I call you back. I call you back. Ow! You know what yes, to do. Good plan. That's your plan, Ringo? Careful now. Ready to go. All right. Ooh, that'll Let's see some this is no static charge. Easy. Here I come. Take it away. All you, Millie. On it, Ringo. Love to see it. Let me see. I'll cover you if it goes south. Eat this! Nice! Too late for regrets now. No problem. See ya. Wow, over already? This world really is something, isn't it? Whiling away its hours amidst a sea of city lights. It's truly breathtaking. Don't you think, Melody? And still you're going to destroy it all? Exactly. Knowing that it will all come crashing down makes everything the more mournful. And therein lies the true beauty. <laughs> you're being especially poetic tonight. I suppose I can't blame you for being in such high spirits, though. Project C is finally almost here. Yes. How I've longed, yearned for this moment. After all the time, all the manpower I've spent, it's here at last. I clawed my way through the ranks of the Phantom Society, on the mask, and now I have you as my unparalleled. My one regret, however, is that I won't be able to face the Great One with you at my side. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm carrying a covenant, after all. I already knew both my life and my covenant would be yours to take one day. I've been waiting for that fateful moment ever since. Ah, such beauty. And so mournful, too. Just like him. Him? Who do you mean? Uh, well, Raven could never compare to you. You see, uh, you're teasing me, aren't you? Sorry. I just like to see you worry sometimes. <laughs> do you intend to live on forever in my memory? More than that. When I die, I'll be immortal. No one lives forever, even in memory. I should know, I don't even remember my parents' faces. And it's for that reason that I want to burn these moments into your mind. 
The moments where I loved you, and the moment I die by your hand. I'll make sure they never fade away. I don't much care what you do after that. You're quite the egoist, aren't you? <laughs> this coming from the man in the mask. Sticking our nose in a little deep, aren't we? Melody, I'm only seeing this because your soul is allowing me to. <laughs> Whatever you say. So this is what you two were like together. Kinda unexpected, honestly. Unexpected how? Hmm. It's hard to put to words, but you're... less stiff, I guess? I wouldn't have pictured you just talking normally like that, you know? Well, of course I can talk normally. Even the lowest of the low have their own lives and emotions and what have you. Then again, wage war with someone long enough and you'll start to forget that. Say, Ringo. Would you like to know why he put on the mask? It's because it made him look more like a leader. Huh? What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Iron Mask had a role to fill in the Phantom Society, right? The mask was a way to help him better play the part. I guess it might make more sense to say that it helped him hide his true self. Behind the face you know was a very timid and gentle person, and that mask kept all of it hidden away. Timid and gentle? Was he really? The only thing I wanted out of life was to die for him. The moment I offered him my covenant should have been the end of it. You know, having seen that vision, I do feel bad for how things turned out. We may not have known what would happen, but we still took your covenant away from you. Sure did. Either way, it doesn't mean a whole lot to me anymore. Even if I did still have the covenant, the one glimmer of hope I had is gone. Hmm? There's no reason to worry about it now. It's just the way it is. All I want at this point is to meet with him. Okay then. If that's your goal, you can count on me to help. Gotta say though, kinda strange that your reason to live is to die. I don't think I need to say it, but it sorta contradicts human nature, you know? Yes, I won't deny that. Why were you so dedicated to him? Because... back then... I'd never seen anything in my life so beautiful. Back then? <sighs> I get it. Hmm. True.
A great power may grace our stage. You wish to register? Now, make your choice. Shall they inherit? Are you prepared for this? Shall they inherit? Are you prepared for this? Welcome. What'll it be today? Do I have that right? Thanks. Have a nice night. Sorry, nothing today. Aww. Arrow's a meanie, huh? Maybe his shady old buddy in the tacky suit will be nicer. Oh, that stings. Okay, kitties. Who wants candy? Me! I don't see Raven around. I wonder what he's doing. Teacher's at the hospital. Munanori got a fever, so we took him to the doctor. This is bad. It's just a fever. I'm sure he's fine. We can just wait for him to come back. No, not that. It's almost dinner time. Did Raven have time to prepare anything? I'll go check the kitchen. Bad news! There's nothing ready! Why don't you guys make dinner, Arrow? We've got all these adults here. At least one of you's gotta know how to cook. I always knew this day would come. Just watch the master at work. Was not expecting it to be Saizo. And why not? Ash and I always took turns on meal prep back when we lived together. Huh. Go figure. All right, you little gremlins. What are you hungry for? Hamburg steak! Ooh, 
Ooh, not bad. I make a mean Hamburg steak myself. Hmm, probably best to boil it. I know a butcher who could get us some Wagyu. You kids know what A5 grade is? No, I'm not talking school or algebra. A5 grade meat. That's way too rich for our tastes. I'll do the shopping. The markets usually have ground beef on sale this time of day. Um, may I help? Cooking doesn't exactly seem like part of the Ion skill set. When I'm controlling Mimi, I use my leftover processing to study. Whoa, Fig. You're learning all this new stuff without me? I'm getting left behind here. I'm perfectly capable of doing things on my own, you know. I guess it'd be pretty easy to multitask like that, but... Sure, Fig. Let's work together on this. All right. Oh, oh, I want to have something cute! Then we'll arrange the vegetables in a cute pattern. Oh, the steak! We can make it into a Mimi shape! Who's Mimi? <laughs> You'll see. For now, Arrow will take care of the shopping, Saizo will attend to the rice, and I will prepare some miso soup. On it. Understood. She's really taking charge. And Melody can... What, me? Can you read me a story? What? Please? I suppose Melody can entertain the children. <laughs> Are you seeing this, Big? This is a whole new Melody. Ringo, commit all this preparation to memory. You'll be on cooking duty next time. Sure. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Nice going, Melody. Turns out behind that sharp tongue of yours, you're actually pretty caring, huh? What? The way you handled those kids, you know? I wasn't doing anything special. No, I think you were. What, you too, Arrow? Lose the grin, it's making me sick. You know that girl you were reading to, Ichika? She's actually really hard to please. I don't think I've ever seen her smile like that before. I appreciate you looking out for her. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. Sorry I'm late. Rude of me, seeing as I called you over. Welcome back, Raven. Also, I'd like to apologize. I ended up making dinner without asking permission. <sighs> no, 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 no. I'm the one who should apologize. And thanks. The kids seem really happy. That's all that matters. <sighs> yeah, Raven's great when it comes to curry, but everything else... Well, it's nothing to write home about. I uh, think you ought to change your perspective, Arrow. The real problem is that my curry's so great, nothing else compares. Sure, I guess you could look at it that way. See? Uh, then again, I guess my cooking can get a bit samey, huh? Uh, if you guys don't mind, do you think you could swing by again sometime, like you did today? You don't mind? Of course not. The kids would love to see you. The kids? Sure. I suppose every now and then wouldn't hurt. Just don't forget we've got a job to do. That's our top priority. Yes, of course. I know that. I was... overjoyed? Even though the activity in question had no relation to Ion's mission. It's gotten pretty late. We better get down to business. Right. First, about Mangetsu? I can fill us in on that one. So Mangetsu's dead. Alright, I'll make sure Yadagarasu gets the news. Thanks. Now it's my turn. 
Yadagarasu's investigation has identified what we believe to be Iron Mask's hideout. It's an abandoned complex in Ozaki. Ozaki Hope Towers, it's called. Real estate really took a turn for the worse over in those parts. So a lot of the buildings were left unfinished. Couldn't make a profit if you tried. Perfect place for the bad guy to set up his secret lair, though. And how reliable is this info? One of our agents confirmed seeing Iron Mask and Zenin go in and out. That's odd. I agree. I previously tried to track Iron Mask through the city's surveillance cameras, but I wasn't able to find any trace of him. Possibly because he was being careful. So why now all of a sudden? I was wondering about that as well. Maybe he's trying to lure us in. It's possible. We do have one of the Covenants, after all. Then it's too dangerous. We'd be walking right into his trap. Hmm. Maybe. But we don't have any other options. This is probably all we're gonna get. Ringo's right. Hold up. Don't get in my way. I think you're gonna wanna hear this. You wanna kill Iron Mask, right? This had better be good. Yeah, I'll let you be the judge of that. I went to the Gomaden and asked about the Zoma's weakness. Apparently, Zoma are sensitive to the phases of the moon, and weakest at each new moon. Well, we know the place. Now we just gotta wait for the right time. All right, then we'll go on the next new moon. Make sure you don't jump the gun, Melody. Obviously. What's wrong? What? It's written all over your face. Something's bothering you. Was it something in our conversation? No, that's not it. Just... I heard from Arrow. About Komodori's other side. Ah, uh, yeah. You were so kind to the children. And they all looked so happy. I guess I just misunderstood. You're still bound up in the summoner's karma. <sighs> guess I am. But I know my first impression of you wasn't wrong. You really care about those kids. And you take them seriously. That's why they respect you so much. That kindness is what they see in you. It's why they all want to be like you. How much longer are you going to do this? Until I'm ordered to stop. Then, I will use my own power. I will find a way for you to live in peace with the children. Are you seriously suggesting I use Ion for something that's self-serving? You need to calm down. I'm perfectly calm. And it's not self-serving if we want the same things. You don't want these children to have to fight. We can agree on that much, can't we? There's still so much you don't know. Of course. I'm a newborn. If the kids are that important to you, then I suggest you wait before you make your move. Tell me why. Don't forget that Ion and Yadagarasu stand on different sides in all this. If you cross a line on your own, it could spark more conflict than you realize. I suppose I'd rather not make myself unwelcome here. Right? You're talking to the wrong guy anyway. I just work here. So you don't intend on being their agent again? Not if I can help it. Oh, but it's not as noble as I'm sure you're thinking. Then what is your reason? I burned down a village once. A covert operation in a foreign country. <laughs> the mission was to purge a village that had been corrupted by a demon's influence. I killed everyone there. The kids, the elders. I told myself it was all necessary, all for the mission. And at some point, I guess I dropped my comp. I saw it on the ground and suddenly it just looked grotesque, as horrific as any of the bodies. And that's when I realized I couldn't fight anymore. So Yadagarasu put me out to pasture. Once they saw I'd changed, they made room for me here and put me to work as a teacher. You pushed yourself too hard, that's all. You tried to do your job. <laughs> and for what? 
You really are a kind soul. You don't want all this violence to continue, right? I don't know. But I know I want the kids out of it. And if anything ever threatens their happiness, I'll pick the comp back up if I have to. Thank you for speaking with me. About Arrow. Huh? I haven't seen him smile and laugh like that in a long time. He's happy with you, so... Thank you. Choosing not to fight doesn't make you weak. It made you a good person. I can fight so you don't have to. So the children don't have to. Uh. There's still Hamburg steak. We saved some for you. If you didn't get any dinner, it's waiting. Are you done talking yet? Hey, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. You're the one who's always reminding us to say thank you. <sighs> Fine. You got ten minutes, then back to bed. Okay. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. Did you cook too? No. But now I know how to do it, so I can make you guys dinner next time. Really? Then I want hamburg steak again! Sure. It's a promise. Hey, miss. Thanks for playing with me. <sighs> um, miss? I don't think she can hear you. You gotta get her attention. Okay. Miss! <sighs> oh, you noticed! I wanted to say thank you, miss. What, to me? I... Ringo, can't you say something to her? You're so popular, Melody. I don't know why they like you so much. Any tips for us plebs? I don't know either. What do they want from me? Miss? Uh, well... When are you gonna visit next? Oh, uh, I mean, I... I really don't know. <sighs> uh, look, if I ever drop by again, then I'll read you another story, okay? Oh, thank you, miss. <laughs> we mustn't overstay our welcome. Let's go. Say goodbye, everyone. really takes a lot out of me. Well, we've got a nice moonless night ahead of us. You guys ready? Everyone have their demons set? You don't need to tell me. I've been waiting for this. Very patiently, I might add. I was worried you were gonna run off without us. Well, you did spend so long talking and chatting and joking around. If you wasted any more of my time, I might get upset. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Save the murder glare for the actual fight. Come on, let's head to the Ozaki Hope Towers. <laughs> Ash. There too. <laughs> <laughs> 